Tonight, you're covering my shift. Don't let anyone know this. Don't worry, Diane. I actually want to thank you for giving me this part. <laughs> 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 He's poisoned. He can't get far. Track him down. If you want to stay alive, keep quiet. Come with me. You too. I'm sorry. With this ancestral jade pendant as proof, I promise to marry you. Nancy, where did you get it? What a piece of history with high value. Don't tell me it was a gift from Harry, your lazy boyfriend who mooches off you. As far as I can remember, you were juggling three jobs to provide for Diane, him. the jade pendant was left by a guest. He'll come back for it. No matter if it's legit or not, I'll hold on to this jade pendant for you. Why are you still standing there? You're running late for work. Why on earth are you holding the sheet? Mrs. Liu, I'm here to escort you back. Mrs. Liu, I'm here to escort you back. Who are you? Why are you calling me Mrs. Ling? I'm the butler of the Ling Group. Look, our master is the heir of the Ling Group, Ethan Ling. The young, renowned military commander who has just returned to China and is about to take full control of the Ling Group? Yes. Why does he want to marry me? The jade pendant you hold was a gift from our young master and a cherished family heirloom. How could Nancy have the Ling's jade pendant? Never mind. The one and only Mrs. Ling can only be me. All right. I'm Diane Su. From now on, I'll be Mrs. Ling. Mr. Liu, I have safely escorted Miss Diane Su to home. Diane Su? That's right. It's her. Luke. Take care of all of Diane's needs. Not a hint of grievance should touch her. Yes. Hello, it's time to change your dressing for one. This man looks so familiar. Who is it? Who are you? What's your relationship with Harry? I am Harry's girlfriend. You're Harry's girlfriend? He's been with me for a year. How could you be his girlfriend? Harry, what's going on here exactly? I'm coming. Nancy, what brings you here? Harry, tell me, who the hell is she? Weren't you saying you were unattached? How long have you been together? Almost a year. Harry, tell me who she is. She... she's just my cousin. Nancy, have you been single for so long that you're settling for anything? How could I be your boyfriend? She's your cousin who's from the rural areas, huh? She's so rustic. Check out the clothes she's wearing. Country pumpkin. Cousin? Is that how you define our relationship? I'm going to see my cousin off. Nancy, wait a minute. Actually, I, I've been thinking of breaking up with you. But you can't resist sponging off me, and you can't let go of the rent. I pay you on time every Nancy, month. Nancy, don't portray yourself as good. You just want to invest in me. Then when I rise above the rest, I will marry you, right? Harry, you're shameless. Nancy, we may both be from rural areas, but I attend graduate school, and you go to some community college. If I marry you, I'll be marrying your whole family. I have to take on your greedy father, your paralyzed mother. And you are gambling addicted brother. I'd have to support them all. In that case, I will be drained. Think of this money as my way of making it up to you. Once I finish my postgraduate studies, I'll pay you back with interest. Harry. 
Which woman did you get this money from? Why do you have to be like this, Nancy? Considering your capabilities, when will you ever earn this much money? It's none of your business. Well... If so, we should never cross paths again. Anyways, I'm about to ascend to the upper class of the city. You, on the other hand, can happily face your fate, marrying into the same low society, and being some bottom feeder's wife. Hi, Dad. What's wrong? Hurry back. An emergency at home. Dad, what's the matter? Give me the money. Didn't I just give you a few hundred yuan yesterday? How dare you ask me that? Our family needs money for food, drink, and your mother's medicine. Everything requires money. Did my brother go gambling again and you have to pay for I've it? I've been supporting you for almost 20 years. What's wrong with asking you for a bit of money? Am I supposed to care about your feelings? I don't have money. Even if I did, I wouldn't pay off his gambling debt. Damn you! If you don't have money, go and earn it! I've already had three jobs. How else can I earn more? Then drop out of school. Education is just burning cash. Even if you get a diploma, so what? Just an associate degree. What good is that? You know I could only get into that college because in my senior year, you kept forcing me to drop out, to earn money for mom's treatment, and pay off brother's gambling debts. That's why I couldn't get good grades. Don't talk nonsense. Why waste time on so much education for a girl? You're getting hitched anyway. Go find some rich guy and marry him. So you won't sit around at home. I've had three jobs. Who's the one doing nothing? You! How dare you talk back to me? Look at yourself. With such a good-looking face, can't you figure out how to make more money? I'm telling you, Nancy, if your brother is broke, he won't get a wife. If he can't get a wife, then you will be his wife. Enough! Can you stop saying that? You know it. If it hadn't been for looking after me, she would have been in a better situation. Shut up! She only got into the junior college. That's her own fault. Back then, if you hadn't swapped the babies on purpose, Nancy would be a rich young lady now. I just tried to make our daughter live a good life. What's wrong with that? I warn you. Don't you ever bring this up again. Nancy, today I saw Diane come back to see her parents. Do you know how successful she is now? What happened? Everybody, come downstairs now. Diane has brought many gifts for everyone. Hey, Mary. Well, what kind of gift is this? Wow. Don't rush. They arrived first. It's not your turn to get a gift. Just get in line. Oh, Diane, you've really made something of yourself. Look at this car. Wow, it must have cost quite a bit, right? You can take a look, but don't touch it with your dirty hands. If you damage it, even if you sell your daughter, you cannot afford it. Diane, how did you become so rich? That's my good fortune. It has nothing to do with you, Nancy. Even if you work all your life, you cannot even afford a single tire of my car. The money I earn is clean. Diane, you shouldn't daydream about getting rich overnight. Nancy, what are you talking about? This car was bought for Diane by my son-in-law. If I tell you who he is, it'll scare you to death. Son-in-law? Diane, are you married? I am engaged to the heir of the Ling group. We're getting married soon. Ethan Ling? Is it true? The heir of the Ling group? Diane, I think you just rented a car to pretend to be rich. Yeah, how could someone as significant as Ethan be interested in someone like us? Mom, bring them out. Here they are. Take a good look. These were supposed to be yours, but since you don't believe it, I won't give them to you. No, we were just joking. Diane, you're so beautiful. You're bound to marry a rich man. Hey, I always knew Diane would have a great success. She's much better than our Nancy. <laughs> this. Dad. 
We can't take the money with an unclear source. Nancy, I'm giving you these things just to tell you I, Diane, has made it. If any of you see me in the future, please pretend you don't know me. I'm going to live a good life. Okay, Diane. If this is what you truly want, I'll do it for you. And I don't need any harsh money. Dad, let's go. This! What's going on? Nancy, from now on, we'll be worlds apart. <sighs> look at you, and look at Diane. Dad, it has nothing to do with us. That's her business. Just live our own life. You, you are so foolish. Now Diane has hooked up with a rich man. And we're neighbors for many years. Why not ask her to help you? And help our family? How can you think that? That is the truth. You have a shortcut. Why not make good use of it? I have an idea. Diane's not as good looking as you. You can steal her man. Even if we don't get such a rich man, at least you can find someone rich. You can do that, right? Do you think I am a commodity? You are not satisfied unless I can get a good price? You are so stupid. You are so stupid. Your brain is empty. As long as you use your head, you will make a stupid decision. Harry! Uncle Goo, where is Nancy? Here. Why do you come here? Nancy, I come to apologize to you. Can you marry me? What are you talking about? It's over between us. I am clear that. I can't lose you. Really? I beg you to marry me. This is my home. I don't want to see you here. Please get Nancy, out. Nancy, you, you can't treat guests like this. You hear me? Harry, you can come at any time, but there's no need to bring so many gifts. You don't have to do this. Uncle Gu, this is cardiogenes and asthma for you. Thank you. These are good for your health. And this is gold jewelry for Nancy. Oh, Harry. What makes you so rich now? Nancy, I think I agree to your marriage. Anyway, you've been together for a long time. Just marry him. Dad, I don't agree. Marriage is decided by parents. Now I have agreed. Harry, rest assured, I will find an auspicious day for you this afternoon. And you can marry her. Great, Uncle Goo. Trust me, I will give her a luxury wedding ceremony. Okay, Nancy. As long as you marry me, I will treat you well. Get out! Hey, Nancy! Uncle Goo, see you! Nancy, I'll call you! Nancy! I'm so kind to you, right? He is rich. Why don't you marry him? You can't find anyone better than him! I won't marry him. No way! I have decided it! You must marry him! Diane, I have finished what you asked me. Now Nancy must marry me. Yo, Nancy! Why do you bring a suitcase to work? You want to leave here? You're just a poor temporary worker. Aren't you afraid that your poor smell defiles the guests? Are you kicked out by your family? Homeless now? The house I rented is expired. Do you want to live in the toilet of the restaurant? Shouldn't she live under the bridge? <laughs> what are you doing here? It's working time. Attention! The restaurant has a new owner. She will come to inspect at once. You guys should be smart and behave well. You got me? This new boss is scary. The manager is so nervous for the first Shh. time. I heard that this new boss is a fiancé of a top giant. The new boss is coming. Welcome to the restaurant. Hello, Hello Misu. Misu. Diane, it's you again? How dare you? You have no right to call the name of soon-to-be Mrs. Liu. Mrs. Ling? Which Lings? In Haichun City, we're the only one who can be called the Lings. That Ethan Ling with zero gossip? Wow, you mean that handsome, feral, and rich man, Ethan? Misu, you are the happiest woman in the world. From today on, this restaurant belongs to the Lyung Group, and all the orders of Misu are the orders of the Lyungs. 
You must obey. Otherwise, not only will you be fired, it will also offend the loons. No one can save you. Got, Got it. it. Who is she? Nancy, a temporary worker in our restaurant. From today on, you are responsible for cleaning the most important place in the restaurant. Where is the most important place? It is toilet. Diane, we grew up together. Why are you forgetting me? Ridiculous! I don't even know you. Don't get involved with me. Don't play the fool there. Diane, why do you become like this? Last time you told me you were Ethan fiancé. I didn't believe You're it. You're just a temporary worker. How dare you judge me? I am Ethan's fiancé. There is no doubt about it. How dare you? You are disrespectful to the loons. You dare to doubt the identity of Miss Sue? You're too bold. Apologize to Miss Sue, quickly. She is my neighbor. I know her identity. You have a poor service attitude at work. I give you two choices. One is to get out with your belongings. And two is to obey me to clean the toilet. Fuck off. You don't even have 100 yuan. What else can you do? Obey me and clean the toilet. Remember, you can't stop cleaning the toilet until you can drink the water inside. Clear? <sighs> Diane. You're out of line. Nancy, how could you be so rude to the boss? Yes. Do you know the difficulty of finding a job now? Many people want to come to clean the toilet. You? You must follow what she said, or I have many means to punish you. There are so many toilets in the restaurant. I hope you can go to bed before you clean up all the toilets. What a good idea. You can sleep at the bathroom every night. Don't be ungrateful. You have a junior college degree. It's your honor to clean the toilets. Nancy, chop chop, change your clothes quickly. Hurry up, change here, otherwise we'll change your clothes for you. What are you doing? He's poisoned, he can't get far. Search for him! Why does she look so familiar? Ethan, why are you here? Why don't you rest at home? You don't need to go out to work. Because I want to match you more, so I have to do something. Even if you have nothing, you will also be my wife. Ethan, you are so kind to me. Oh, I saw that. You punished the worker. Yes. She has no selfish spirit. I changed her pose, but she's not convinced. Yes, fortunately, Miss Sue has a strong aura to surprise the temporary worker and ask her to clean the toilet. Just a worker. You can punish her as you want. Let's go home. Okay, let's go. Miss Sue is tolerant, but we are not that tolerant. Kneel down. Apologize to us. You are just a homeless loser. How dare you talk about me, Sue? Nancy, you need to clean all the toilets of the restaurant. If they're not clear, please use your tender tongue to clean them. <laughs> Wait. Ethan. Wait. She seems to know me. I think she's familiar. Ethan. She is just a temporary worker. Let's go home. I'm hungry. Mr. Lee, Miss Sue is right. She's just a temporary worker. She can't know you. The girls now just want to mess with rich and powerful men. You should be careful. She is so bad. She was jealous because Miss Sue is your fiancé. She even quarreled with her, which made Miss Sue unhappy. You must protect Miss Sue. I'm fine. As long as you love me, I can bear anything. Diane, it seems that I never know you. 
stand still. You can't leave. If you want to punish me for your fiancé, just do it. I don't afraid to lose anything. I used the phone to call you the day I got hurt. Send me the phone number. Okay. What are you doing? I'm hungry. Let's go home. The night I was attacked, I used your phone to call my friend. Look at it. Is it your phone number? It's really Nancy's. What should I do? Yes. It's mine. Give me your phone. Let's go home, Ethan. I don't want so many people to know our things that night. What happened? Now, give me your phone. What? How could it be her? Mr. Liu, it's your number. Explain it. You called me. Why should I explain? Can you explain your behavior first? Explain it. Ethan, there must be misunderstanding. So I asked you to explain. Where were you last Friday night? It's none of your business. Check it out. No need to check. I know where she was last Friday night. Are you sure? Mr. Liu, Nancy is my fiancée. She was with me all night. Then what about the phone number? Ethan, I was in a hurry. The phone number that I just sent you was wrong. The current number is 9, not 0. I'll send you the correct phone number now. Are you sure? I've checked so many times that my eyes got blurred. It's definitely right this time. Ethan, I can't believe you suspect me. Ethan, I can't believe you suspect me. This is my phone. If anyone rings up, just handle it for me. Tonight, no one can bother me. Okay. Tom. I am injured. Send someone to pick me up immediately. Ethan, my number and Nancy's only differ in one number. You suspected me just for a number? Is it real? Yes, only the last numbers are different. Mine is six and hers is nine. It's easy to dial wrong. Ethan, look. Even the type and color of our phones are the same. Diane, I misunderstood you. I won't suspect you anymore. You're so scary just now. Diane, it's my fault. I promise to give you a grand and unique wedding. I will tell you as soon as I finish preparations. Really? I am the luckiest woman in the world to marry you. Hmm. Let's go home. Hmm. All is up to you. Ethan, wait a minute. Take out your phone. What do you want to do? Cut the crap. Just take it out. Mr. Lee. Miss Sue. Miss Sue. Diane, don't go too far. So what? A woman born to be poor like you deserves being looked down upon by me forever. And I will keep you in lower class for your whole life. You...
What did you talk to her? Nothing. I just told her not to use the similar phone and number with me anymore to avoid causing a misunderstanding. And I am unhappy that you called her just now, so I broke her phone and will compensate her with a new one. You don't mind, do you? How come I care about a stranger? Hmm. Great. Let's go home. Hmm. Harry, why did you lie? Last Friday night, you were in your dormitory. You were not with me. Nancy, are you model-headed? I spent the whole day with you last Friday. Harry, I found you are thick-skinned. Even thicker than the walls. Nancy, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I, I promise, I will only treat you well. Then please, don't come at me anymore. Nancy! Ethan, let's sleep together tonight. Sleep together? I feel sleepy. I want to go to bed. You were very shy that night. Why do you dress like this tonight? It makes me a little uncomfortable. That's different. I didn't know you at that time. But today is different. This villa is so big and empty. I stayed here for a few days. It's scary. Really? Yeah. It's the first time I come here. I'm timid and shy. You should accompany me more. Don't let me face darkness alone. Yeah. I can't let my wife stay at home alone. Then, how about we... Hello? Okay, I got it. There's something emergency at the company. I gotta go. Have a good night. I am pregnant? What are you doing there? Aren't you going to work? Coming. Nancy, I don't care what happened between you and Misu, but she treated you like that. You must be screwed. Isn't it better for you to get out of here early? I don't need you to tell me if I should get up. I don't need you to teach my girlfriend. Why are you here? I've applied for this company's positions of business manager and got employed a long time ago. I haven't told you because I want to give you a surprise. Really? Then congratulations. Do you think you can make fun of me like they do? Are you satisfied? Nancy, how could you think so? How can I hurt you? I just want to treat you well. There's 100,000 yen. It'll be yours as long as you live with me. You're so disgusting. Nancy, don't worry. Time will prove my love for you. You say the same thing in another woman's bed. The past is past. I've already changed. I only want you for now and future. Stay away from me, or I will call the police for sexual harassment. Nancy! She is so hard to move. What should I do? has it been? Are you so impatient? Tonight, we have a party to celebrate our restaurant's relocation. As a staff of our restaurant, Nancy has to take part in it. At that time, you just need to cooperate with other people to get her drunk. Then, she will be yours. Why is the party for a restaurant held here? I'm busy. I gotta go. You are already here. How come you leave? Do you look down about Mr. Chiang? Sit down. The one who dares to leave early today, get out of the company right now. I appreciate you guys' presence to welcome me today. I will pay for all the bills tonight. Feel free to drink. Enjoy yourselves. Mr. Zhang, you're so generous. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.
Actually, I also don't like this kind of occasion. But we have to drink. This is cider, especially for ladies. It'd be fine to drink some. Let's raise our glasses. And toast to Mr. Zhang. Come on. Cheers. Huh? Did I see it wrong? I think I just saw Mr. Ling go up to the second floor. You must have mistaken him. At this time, he should be at home with Miss Su. Well, maybe I didn't see him clearly. He and Miss Su are so affectionate. That would be envy them. Enjoy yourselves. I gotta go. Two glasses of cider and you're drunk? How are you gonna get back like this? Let me stay with you. Hey, let's drink. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys take your time. Okay, okay. Do as you please. Well. Alice, it took a lot of effort to get her in the car. I hope you all enjoy your food and drink at today's housewarming dinner. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> if it wasn't for the money, I wouldn't sleep with you. Who wants to be messed with a family like yours? Nancy, I didn't know you were worth a lot of money. Nancy, your good neighbor Diane really put a lot of effort into screwing you. It's not bad for you to hang out with me once, in this luxurious private room. <laughs> Let me go! Hey! Nancy, stop fighting. Your first time was meant to be mine. <laughs> Scumbag, if you touch me, I will ruin you. I love you. Marry me, Nancy. <sighs> <sighs> Ah. Bitch, you should be grateful to have sex with me. Do me unappreciative of a favor. Why is it so noisy in room 3 next door? Never mind. Ethan, now you have a lovely wife and you're happy every night. Then I had to wait for you for so long. I just got back from abroad today. Oh, so busy? So your little wife has been alone in your house for days. You didn't go home but came straight to me? It seems that you're interested in my fiancé. I'm just wondering what kind of woman can capture the heart of the unruly Mr. Ling. You love her so much that you can willingly walk into the palace of marriage? She's kind of special. How special? You tell me. You know I have rare racist negative blood. If she hadn't given me a blood transfusion that night, I wouldn't have seen you. Oh my god! You mean your wife is RH negative? You are RH negative. Don't tell me she is RH negative too. How else would she save me? Well, you two are made for each other. Nancy, Nancy, you're mine today. Nancy, ah! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna fuck you to death ah, today! Ah, ah, ah! There's something going on next door. I want to see who's interrupting our brother's chat. Hey! Uh, Bro, <coughs> keep your voice down when you're having fun. Don't bother anyone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My girlfriend and I haven't seen each other for a long time. We're having a crazy time. I'm gonna keep my voice down. Sorry. Then behave yourself. Help. Help. Ethan, what's the matter? She was screaming for help. Hey, women cry out for help in bed. But they don't push men away. She's here for fun. Calling for help is a kind of fun. What's so strange? Go to hell! What son of a bitch would spoil my good deed? Ugh.
Behave yourself in my place. Okay, okay. She was screaming for help. We're playing. We're getting married soon. Who are you? He forced me. I didn't want to. Get out. Thank you. You wake up. You? What did you do to me last night? I saved your life last night. So, you took care of me all night? Hey. Sorry. Thank you. Nancy, there are the results of your inspection report. Here you are. Thank you. You should stop drinking when you're pregnant. What are you doing as a husband? Your wife was pregnant and she can't drink. What are you talking about? I'm not pregnant. The result of the blood test is positive for pregnancy. Pregnancy should be in temperance. You shouldn't go to bars or anything like that. I am pregnant? Why are you crying? Don't you want the baby? Then you have to wait about 40 days to pregnancy to perform an abortion, which is still far away. Hey, Harry, you don't come to our house very often, oh. So let's see if the food is to your liking. Come on, you taste it. The food was delicious. delicious. Thank you, Uncle. You taste it. Make yourself at home. Why are you in my house? Get out. Nancy, you roll over and sit down. Hey, why do you talk to Harry like that? He's the one who should be gone. Smelly witch, shut up. I think you are out of order. Huh? It's a great blessing for you to marry Harry. From now on, you're going to stay home. And you're not going anywhere. Hurry up. Give me your phone. What do you want to do? You get in there. What are you doing? Let me out. Harry said he hopes to get married as soon as possible. I'm telling you, I agreed. You made me drop out of school and get married when I was 20? Are you still a father? Jackass, you're so picky about a rich husband like Harry. You just stay at home, and don't come out. Ethan, you've been home all day without saying a word to me. What did I do wrong? I'm just busy with business. Then you need some sleep too. I'll go to bed as soon as I'm done. That I am here waiting for you, okay? You can go to bed first if you're tired. But I want to be with you. I heard from the housekeeper that you withdrew one million yuan in cash today. He... he'll tell you if I use money? He wouldn't tell me if you swiped card. But getting cash is a little unusual. <laughs> Can you tell me what you're doing with the money? I gave the money to my parents. Is that right? Yes. You know that. I am kind. I need to honor my parents, so I give it to them as pocket money. It's my fault. I was negligent. We're getting married soon. Well, I'll call on your parents in person tomorrow. Ah, uh, okay. Let's make it tomorrow. That's settled. You get some rest. I'll go right away. Okay. Mommy, Ethan said he would come to our house tomorrow. What? But he will look down on our house. Your father and I even... we... You must not embarrass me. But what should we do? Well, you listen to me. So luxurious. Whose car is this? It really... It's called a Maserati. What? Maserati. Maserati. Oh, I heard that. Diane came back to visit her parents with his rich fiance to determine the wedding date. She's really banging a rich guy. She's really promising. Yeah.
Daddy, open the door, please. I figure it out. I am willing to marry Hari. Have you thought it through? Since Diane has found a rich man, then I can't lose to her. That's right. <laughs> Great. I'm glad you figured it out. I'll go to the master this afternoon and give you a good day for your wedding. They are so noisy downstairs. That's Diane came back with his fiancée. It was a big scene. I was going to watch it. I want to see it too. There was no sound at all. There was no quarrel. It seems that Diane is really going to marry into a wealthy family. Unexpectedly, these two extremely rude country bumpkins from the Sioux could cling to such top-notch rich people. When a man gets to the top, all his friends and relations get there with him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, excuse me. I want to take a look too. Ethan, these are my parents. My father is a university professor. My mother is a doctor. Diane, your family is really a scholarly place. No wonder your family can cultivate such a kind girl like you. Mr. Liu, we didn't expect that. You really want to marry our daughter. This is our family's honor. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Ling, it's rare for you to come here. Let's stay for dinner today. I'll cook for you. Auntie, do you usually cook by yourself when you're at home? No, no. We have a nanny at home. Yeah, yeah. We have a nanny at home. We have a nanny at home. Where can I find a nanny for you? I have a way. They are Diane's parents. Shouldn't they meet their future son-in-law at home? Why are they here? Hey, don't take off your hair, scarf. It'll be terrible if someone recognized us. Here you are. Let's eat this. It was so cold that I froze to death. When can we go home? I do not know. Let's wait for news from Diane. I don't know that Diane hired these two professors to pretend to be us. Can they meet Ethan's satisfaction? Vulgar people like us should not drag on our daughter. As long as my daughter can marry into a rich family, let us live without worries about food and clothing for the rest of our lives. Even if I hide behind it all my life, I am willing to. Then, shouldn't we lie to Ethan for the most of his life? So what? I taught my daughter. She has the ability to deceive just to coax a man. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> what? You ask us to be your nannies? You two nannies, do you think our Sue's money is easy to earn? Yeah, 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 Misu. I'll go into the kitchen now and prepare for lunch. What two useless people? You can't even do such trifles. I... we are... Stop talking back. Hurry up and get everything ready. Ah. Uh. These servants, they just need to be taught a lesson. These little things are not worth your anger at all. Sorry, Ethan. I'm kind of out of shape. It's getting late now. Let's go to our villa. Okay. Wait a minute. Hello. Who are you? What a handsome guy. This is my future son-in-law. Diane, it's me, Harry. Just now, Nancy followed her father to her house. Now they're gone. I'm afraid she'll mess with our plans. What? I know. I'll think about ways to deal with it. You go and find her first. She is answering a phone call. She'll be right back. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nancy, you're 50 minutes late. Sorry, manager. I won't be late again next time. Oh, next time? How dare you think of being late next time? As for this time, let's deduct 100 yuan from your first. Just hurry up and change your clothes. Go to work. Okay. Nancy, please marry me. Mr. Chiang, what are you doing here? Nancy, please marry me. Harry, aren't you annoying? Everybody, come here, please. Please be the witnesses of my proposal. I sincerely proposed it to Nancy. I'll take care of her for the rest of my life and protect her. 
How shameless you are. My recent troubles are all brought by you. I drank too much last night. It's just a misunderstanding. I'll explain it to you later. Marry, Marry him. him! Marry yeah. him! Marry, Marry him! him. Nancy, you can only marry me, because ten days ago, someone who had sex with you at the hotel, it was me. You? Yep. Do you need me to reconfirm the details of the night with you out loud? You threaten me? Thank you very much for your support. Miss Gu already agreed to my proposal. It wasn't you. That night, I remember the man was tall. Dizzy, why don't you believe me? Okay, I'll show you a recording. Hey, we're going to hold hands all the time. I can't wait. That night was our first. I made a souvenir of the recording. Do you want to hear it again? You son of a bitch! I can't be with you in this light. Stand still! No one's allowed to leave! Stand still! No one's allowed to leave! What happened? Why did the security guard come suddenly? Everyone stood still and was not allowed to move! Cooperate with the investigation! What's missing? It was found in Nancy's locker! Nancy, this is Miss Seuss. I saw her wear it the other day. You dare to steal a necklace which is worth millions of dollars! I didn't do it. Who's the prisoner and the stolen goods were found? Take her away. Send her to the police station. It was a setup. I didn't steal anything at all. Guard. You have to check it carefully. I lost more than one necklace. I suspect she stole all of my stuff. Rest assured, we will not spare any thief. Nancy, you're still a college student. I'm going to tell your school about your stealing. He'll be expelled by your school. I said I didn't do it. Stop it! What are you doing? Dad, they have wronged me. Framed me to stealing Diane's things. Stealing? What was stolen? She stole my necklace. It cost millions of dollars. It's enough for Nancy to sit through the prison. What? Nancy, how dare you? Steal such a valuable thing. I didn't do it. Hurry up and apologize to Diane. Beg her to forgive you. Why should I apologize for something I didn't Both do? Both the prisoner and the stolen goods were found. You still dare to quibble? Hurry up and take her away. No, no, no. Diane, please do me a favor. We've been neighbors for more than a decade. Nancy, hurry up and apologize. I said I didn't do it. If you have a criminal record, your brother will be ruined by you. Don't you know? Nancy! Diane, I beg you please forgive Nancy this time, okay? Forgive her? You're too casual, aren't you? Is this your attitude of begging? Diane, what do you want? You can forgive Nancy. I want her to kneel down and beg me. Moreover, your family should get out of Haicheng City by tomorrow. Our home is in Haicheng City. Where else can we go? Diane, I'll make Nancy kneel for you now. You get down on your knees. On your knees. You've done such a big crime. Hurry up and apologize to Diane. Beg her to forgive you so you don't have to go to jail anymore. You're my dad. Why don't you believe what I say? Apologize! Do you see it? That's what she deserves. You're right. If you just kneel here, you should follow me wherever I go. If you kneel well, maybe I'll spare you. Over my dead body. Kneel well! Diane? Ethan, what are you doing here? I just dropped by. What are you doing? You are the lenient young master of the Liu's, right? Mr. Liu, I beg you, please ask Diane to let my daughter go and let our family go. Uncle, you know nothing. Let me tell you. Ethan, 
Here's the thing. I lost a diamond necklace. A security guard found it in Nancy's locker. Then wanna take her to the police station. But she's been staying here all the time. She wants me to forgive her. What do you think? Should I forgive her? Which necklace? Well, that one. A necklace is worth little. Don't be a thief again. It cost millions of dollars. Since you have been Mrs. Ling. Millions of dollars is not a lot of money. Mm, okay. In fact, I cannot bear to blame Nancy. Then let her go. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Damn girl! Why not thank Diane quickly for sparing you? I did not steal it. Why are you reluctant to admit mistakes? Do you believe that I will beat you to death now? This is a canteen. Go out to quarrel. Go, go. Get out quickly. Believe it or not, I did not steal anything. Ethan, I feel so bored. Let's go shopping. Okay. You actually learned to steal. You made me lose face. No matter how many times I explain, you don't believe me, right? Am I your daughter? You bastard! From today on, stay at home. Do not go anywhere. Fortunately, Harry called me and said that he did not mind it. He would like to marry you. I have decided to let you get married as soon as possible. Nancy, what are you doing inside secretly? Harry is here. Come out quickly. When did you come? Pay attention to your tone. Look at what Harry has brought for us. They are the best gifts. Do you know that? Harry, have you horsed around long enough? Nancy, I do want to marry you. I have asked for marriage leave from the company. Next, I will prepare our wedding ceremony. Look, Harry is so considerate. If you marry him, you are the most fortunate woman. Do you want a fortune? Well, darling, do not be like this. Mr. Gu, you have overpraised me. Today is weekend. I want to take Nancy out of the city to play, to deepen our affection. I want to go. You must go. Go to change your clothes quickly. After that, you must go with Harry. Go, go, go. Hey, Nancy. Are you Nancy's family? Yes, I am. She might have been scared and fainted. Nothing serious. This is her physical examination report. Take it. Okay. You wake up. I'm okay. May I be discharged, nurse? No. You'd better remain in hospital under observation overnight. Nancy, why did you faint all of a sudden? Are you okay? It's none of your business. I feel pretty good. I want to have a rest now. Please get out. Fine. Hope you have a good rest. Thank you, Ethan. It's so far to pick me up from work. If you like, I will pick you up every day. Mr. Liu, we are being followed by someone. They come at me. I will fix them. You take Miss Sue back to home first. Yes, sir. Ethan! Miss Sue, should we find Mr. Liu? Didn't he tell you to take me back to home first? Hey, he is Mr. Liang Ethan. If you can't save his life, this hospital will be pulled down. Yes, yes, yes. Push him in. 
Who is the RH negative type? RH negative type. All of us are not. So it means that you don't know Mr. Liu has the real negative type. Mr. Liu is losing too much blood now. He needs the blood transfusion immediately. What? Don't you have the blood in the hospital? This blood type is more rare than Panda. None of Mirren can be found. You need to find this blood quickly, otherwise Mr. Liu will be in danger. Well, your hospital doesn't have any stock. The hospital doesn't have this rare blood type all the time, so find it quickly. But, where can we find now? You must think of ways to solve this problem. Don't be impulsive. I know where has this blood type. Where? In a second patient ward. Her name is Nancy. I know where has this blood type. Where? In a second patient ward. Her name is Nancy. Hurry! Draw her blood! Who are you? What are you doing? You should save a person. Yeah. Doctor, please draw her blood. Ethan, you're awake! How long have I been asleep? You're unconscious all day and all night. I'm so worried. Mr. Ling, Misu took care of you all night without rest. Even when you lost your blood, which is the most dangerous time, Mrs. Ling gave you a transfusion. Diane, you saved me again. I told them not to say anything, but the nurse is a big mouth. Although I gave you a transfusion, I also feel afraid, but I worried about you most. I'll be nicer to you, I promise. I'll live with you till we're old. Thanks, Ethan. It's my luck to meet you. Ethan, you're so nice. Ethan, you're so nice. What are you talking about? Ethan, she's talking nonsense! Diane, why are you so scared? I haven't said anything yet. How do you think I'm talking nonsense? What the hell are you talking? You will know the consequences if you dare to cheat in front of me. Ethan, I know you're a big shot, and your life is precise, but it's your fault to force me to transfuse my blood to you. It was me who transfused blood to Ethan! Do you understand? Diane transfused the blood. How dare you cheat me? Well, I say, it's you again. Nancy, just come at me. Stop being a demon. Why? Scared? So you are afraid that I'll reveal your true colors, right? I'm just worried about you interrupting his rest. He's recovering from a serious injury and can't be provoked. He can stand stimulation, but deception? Nancy, you're so vicious. You can ask the nurse who gave him the transfusion. Of course, Miss Hu. You're lying through your teeth. It was you who forced me to draw my blood. Nowadays, people will do anything to attract the rich and famous. Ethan, listen to me. Diane, she's been lying. So was the nurse. She's not RH negative at all. Nancy, don't go too far. Security, get this crazy woman out of here. Ethan, she lied to you more than once. Today, I'll tell you one by one. Today, I'll tell you one by one. Wait, Nancy, you have broken my relationship with Ethan repeatedly. Well, then I'll show to you. Nurse. Mr. Ling, this is the list for Miss Sue's blood donation. It clearly shows that Miss Sue's blood type is RH negative blood. Got it. This list is fake. How could you not be prepared? Since you want to pretend to be me and take the credit from me? Ethan, I'm willing to take another test to prove my innocence. Just have a check if I have RH negative blood. That's not necessary. Come on, get her out of here. Ethan, I'm the one who gave you blood. He's the one who pulled me over there and took my blood. Ask him if you don't trust me. Stop it. Luke, you never lie. Just tell me, what the hell is going on? 
Ethan, you don't believe me. Of course I do believe you. But I want to clear your name in case she's a rumor monger. Tell us, who gave blood transfusion for Mr. Ling? Ethan, in fact, I... There is something I haven't told you. I know I shouldn't have lied to you. Mr. Ling, in fact, the person who transfused blood to you was Miss Su. She told me not to tell you in case you were worried. Let me know in time when this happens. If it happens again, don't let her rest again. Just find another way. Yes, sir. Now, just go out. Stop right there. I'm the one who transfused blood to Mr. Ling. Aren't you his loyal handsman? Why did you lie? Nancy, are you done? I know you're against me because you envy me for the favor by Ethan and my awesome status and position. Maybe I've been too kind to you. Clearly you're a liar, but it's okay because there are monitors in the hospital. As long as the video is taken out, everything will be ready to the truth. Go and do it. Yes, sir. Nancy, if you find out that she's innocent, how do you think I punish you? Well, then I leave Haishan City and never come back. Well, then I leave Haishan City and never come back. Not only that, but I want you to apologize to Diane. Okay. What if she's the liar? Then I'll leave Ethan and apologize to you in public. The proof will be revealed when the video arrives. Where was the video? Mr. Liu, the video was damaged and we got nothing. How could this be? It's impossible. There must be something wrong. Ethan, they're lying to you. It's me who transfused blood to you. My blood type is... Nancy, what the hell are you doing here? I've been looking all over for you. I'm sorry, Mr. Liu. I'll get my fiancé out of here. I'm not his fiancé. Harry, what are you doing here? Nancy, don't be self-willed. I knew you misunderstood me before, but you still love me, right? Let's go. Come home with me. You? Wait. You dare to leave after messing around in front of me? Mr. Liu, I... Nancy, what's wrong with you? Uh, Mr. Liu, I'm sure you are very lenient. I can't let you go, but you need to answer a question. For what? What's your daughter's blood type? My daughter's... My daughter's... <laughs> My daughter's blood type is blood type B. That's enough. You might leave now. Well, thank you, Mr. Liu. Let's go. Go. Hey, will Diane really give us a lot of money if we send Nancy back? Shh, keep your voice down. Wait till we get home. Oh, oh. Diane will give me more. If Nancy marries me soon. Really? Go, go, go. Butler, yeah. Obviously, it was Miss Su who donated blood to Mr. Liu. Why did you say that? It's not a bad thing that Mr. Liu thinks the blood was donated by Miss Su. It doesn't matter who the actual donor was. The important thing is that he finally wants to settle down with a wife. Since he's been single for so long. Let's not get in the way. In addition, Miss Su also saved Mr. Liu's life. We have to be grateful. Ethan, I didn't say it before because I didn't want to bother you. I know that. Luke? Yes. Yes, Mr. Liu. Hurry up and prepare for our engagement party next week. It must be a big show. Don't let Diane suffer any injustice. Mr. Liu, the man who hurt you hasn't been caught. It would be risky to hold a public banquet now. Just do as I say. Yes, sir. Hey! Will, why hasn't Nancy woken up yet? I only used a very small dose. Don't worry. She will make up in a minute. Hey, I'm not worried about her. I'm worried that if she doesn't wake up, she won't be able to marry you. Will Diane still give us money? Don't worry about it. It won't happen. By the way, have you set the date yet? There will be a good day next week.
You've given me enough money, and we will give you two an awesome wedding. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I want everyone in Haichun City to know that Nancy is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, Ethan's engagement party seems to be in room one. There won't be another chance to impersonate guests and get close to Ethan. We have to kill him today. Tell everyone to get started now. Got it. Got it. it. Marry myself off like that. Mr. Liu, the whole venue is decorated with flowers. Specially flown in from Holland this morning. And planned by a professional team. I'm sure Miss Sue will love it. Isn't this Harry's wedding venue? Why is Ethan here? If Diane doesn't like it, I'll blame you. Got it. I didn't realize Mr. Liu was so fond of Mrs. Liu. Diane, she saved my life twice. Isn't it my duty to spoil her? Go see what's going on. Got it. <laughs> Diane? Is that you, Diane? Oh, huh. Mr. Liu, your life is over today. It's my engagement day. I don't want to see blood. Put down your knives. <laughs> then I'll let you live another day. That is your fiancé, right? Just killed one and gave one away, so you won't be alone in the hell. Do it! <laughs> you are the kind of guy who'd take a bullet for a woman, then I'll kill you first. Hey, wait a minute. How much did they pay you for Mr. Ling's life? He can pay you ten times as much. Boss. Tell the links that if they can't give me one billion yuan, they will see the body of Ethan's fiance in an hour. And Ethan's body in two hours. Yes, even if Lings doesn't pay, if we kill them, we'll at least get our original pay. It's a good deal. <laughs> anyway, just go. Got it. It's your fault again. Diane. Don't be afraid. I'll take you home. Who is your Diane? Have you been knocked out of your mind? I know I'm not good. Don't be angry. You're trying to protect your Diane. I was trying to protect you. You're shameless. You can do anything for her. Even sacrifice someone as insignificant as me, wouldn't you? Wait. What do you mean? You're not Diane. You're not his fiancé. I'm not. She is. <laughs> Fucking hell or not? Of course she is. If she wasn't my fiancé, how could she show up at my party in a wedding dress? I was gonna get married. Yeah, you'd have married me by now. Ethan, if he is not your fiancé, I'll kill her right away and bring your real fiancé here to relieve boredom. What are you doing? You asshole. I'm an emotional hypochondria. I don't kiss women other than my fiancé. You believe me? Beautiful man and woman. I'm so excited about this. How about another kiss? Don't go too far, you guys. How come you are back so soon? What did Lin say? I don't know why. I sent him the video and photos, but he said they're forgeries. He doesn't believe that Ethan was kidnapped by us. And the media reported that Ethan canceled the wedding and went abroad to deal with important matters. <laughs> what the hell is Lin up to? I'll talk to them on the phone. Got it. Got it. It's a matter of urgency. I hope you understand. It's urgent for you to protect Diane, but you came to sacrifice me? You're such a hypocrite. These guys are killers. I do want to protect Diane, but I don't want them to find out that you're not my fiancé, and I don't want you to die because of me. So what should we do now? You do what I tell you to do. <coughs> But you've lost a lot of blood. The links won't give money so easily. You lie to them later. Then untie the rope. And find the way out. Are you okay? Come on, come on. What are you screaming for? 
You're not worth much. I'll kill you. Ethan, he fainted. Let it be, as long as he doesn't die. He's lost too much blood. If he dies, you won't get your money. I've learned first aid. Let go of me. Don't think the links will find you if you delay. I'm telling you, this place is impossible to find. He's lost love of blood. He needs a transfusion. Don't exaggerate. Why should I listen to you? I gave him a blood transfusion before. Don't talk nonsense. Then you'll watch him die. Boss, he seems to have lost a lot of blood. I don't think he'll keep alive in two hours. Can you give him some medicine? Get him an anti-inflammatory or something. Got it. What is this place? Is it so easy to buy medicine? I'm not afraid to tell you. This is the third basement of your engagement hotel. It's called Blackout. You want a billion yuan in cash, right? Do you know how much cash is in a billion yuan? What do you mean? Think about it. A billion yuan in cash weighs at least a dozen tons. Is it easy for you guys to run around with all that cash? What do you suggest? My advice is no money. Do you want to die? Hey buddy, listen to me. With the Link's position, most of the people who blackmail them every year are just bluffing liars. I'm sure they don't pay that easily, do they? Then we'll have to kill you. Don't. You all know Ethan favors me, right? I've heard of it. As Ethan's lover, I know news that the outside world can never know. All you have to do is relay everything I say to the Lynx, and I guarantee you'll get more than a billion you want. Say! Say! Listen, in the middle of the shelf at Ethan's house, there's a crystal box with a peak dark layer underneath the box, with a world-class top-colored diamond hidden inside. If you take it away, you'll have more than a billion yuan in an instant. If you lie to me, I'll kill you right now. <laughs> he gave me too many gifts. I don't have to lie to you because of this one. You'd better hurry and get it. Whether or not we can be saved this time depends on whether or not you links can understand my words. Ethan, remember, it was me, Nancy, who saved you. Mr. Liu! <laughs> they were smart. I can't believe they found this place. Doctor, come on! Oh no, Mr. Liu lost a lot of blood. His pulse is weak. Send him to the hospital for blood transfusion. No, this time, the outside world didn't know about the danger, so if we send them back, it would jeopardize the situation. So we should send them to a villa in the suburbs. Definitely not. Mr. Liu's in danger of dying. Nancy. I'll be with you. I have RH negative blood. I can save Mr. Lim. Thank you for saving Mr. Liu. I'm willing to pay you more if you stay. You think of me as Ethan's blood donor. Don't you feel guilty? It's none of Mr. Liu's business. I'll take all the consequences myself. Blind loyalty. Please take me home. I can't get the cab now. I'm sorry. You can't leave yet. Why? Mr. Liu's identity is very special. The danger he suffered this time has not yet been publicized. If you leave now, news will get out. How special is his identity? Is he the president? You can still tell jokes. That means you're in good condition. <sighs> I couldn't get away with it anyway, could I? Hmm. Oh. Ow! Why doesn't anyone take care of you? No need. I let them all out. But Laurier put me under house arrest at the Lynx. When are you going to let me go? What's with you? Mr. Ling, you probably don't know that I'm actually your blood donor. I'm about to be drained by you. Look. It's ridiculous. I'm RH negative blood. 
I don't need you to donate blood. You don't believe me. I just wish you'd let me go. You tricked the killer in the basement into asking for colored diamonds. How did you come up with it? Those words actually correspond to our location. It's indicated that we're in the center of the city basement of the Crystal Top Hotel. The links are smart to understand my hints. You're pretty smart. If I was really smart, I wouldn't have been bullied by Diane over and over again. Cut your crap. Don't say anything bad about Diane. And stop slandering her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Diane is the best person in the world, is that okay? I owe you one. Just tell me what you want. I'll keep my word. Anything? Yes. Uh. <laughs> Write as much as you want. Mm -hmm. You've been thinking about how much you want, haven't you? I promise you. You can't tell anyone about what happened today, and we haven't met. You think I'm just a guy who's in it for the money, don't you? Aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. Afraid, right? Go ahead and redeem it. You guys always thought money could buy everything. You have no respect to others at all. So what do you want? Anything, really? Just tell me. If you really want to thank me, then you can get me a job at the Link Group. Are you serious? Sure, the Link Group is the best in Haichang City. Employees in the Link Group are all elites. I want to improve myself. That's why I want to join the Link Group and I want to be in the core department. Take the card and go to the Ling Group and ask for my assistant. She'll arrange the job for you. Thanks, I'll work hard. Take Miss Gu home. But... Don't let anyone know about it. I thought I saw a woman. Did I see it clearly? Misu, you're right. She is the maid sent by the elders to take care of Mr. Ling. I thought you were looking for a woman for Mr. Ling. You're joking. How could it be? Keep in mind, if I find out you take a woman for Mr. Ling, I won't spare you. Yes. Has Diane always treated you like this? Anyone who is loved by Mr. Liu will be a bit capricious. It's normal. Is it? Are you praising your Mr. Ling? Of course. No other heir to a rich and powerful family can be as capable, bold, and responsible as he is. And everything he has now, he got by himself. Just tell me what you want. I'll keep my word. Ethan. Is that the promise you're making to me? Uncle. <laughs> Nancy, where did you go? I've been looking all over for you. I'm very worried about you. Worried about me? Do you need to drink and eat meat to ease your worries, dear? Nancy, please don't say so. Nancy! How dare you stay out so long, huh? Such a big wedding! As the bride, you are absent, huh? You are a disgrace to the ghouls! You piss me off! I have to beat you up today! Wicked girl! Uncle, calm down, please. Don't be mad. Anger is bad for the body. I can have another wedding. You wicked girl! You are really out of line! Harry loves you so much! Are you so rich? Then do what you want. Anyway, I couldn't say no. You can get ready for your next wedding soon. Really? Nancy, you will be there this time, won't you? Nancy! 
trust me. She won't dare disobey me. I'm pissed off. Uncle, do you have Nancy's household registration booklet? How about asking Nancy to get a marriage license with me? This, I do have her household registration booklet, but if she disagree, this, what should we do then? Don't worry about it. Ethan asked me to contact you. He said I could have any position I wanted. Mr. Ling already told me. What position would you like? I'm easy. You can just give me a job I can do. You're Mr. Ling's appointee. I don't dare to arrange you casually. Just tell Mr. Ling that I told you to make this arrangement. Then go to the secretarial department on the top floor. You'll start as a trainee secretary. Hmm, okay. This is the new trainee secretary of the company, Nancy. Please take care of her later. Directly into Ling's group. Maybe she has a firm dependence. It's hard to get a job in the secretarial department. You're right. She's so young and good-looking. Is she the mistress of one of the old shareholders? I'll work hard. Thank you. So what? Is it hard to admit to have the firm dependence? Why do you say you're on your own? That's it. Instead of showing off at the office, why don't you go spend some time with your old man? <laughs> Oh, by the way, Miss Gru, you'll also have to go to our medical services department. Medical services department will give you a clean bill of health. After completing the medical examination, you will be able to complete the formal entry procedures. Do entry-level physicals also check for pregnancy? Yes, this is a basic physical examination. Please go for a medical checkup as requested. This is also our special care for female employees. I'll make time for the medical services department. Please don't forget it. Thank you. Jane, did you see that? Nancy panicked when she heard that <laughs> the medical checkup would check for pregnancy. Yeah, she is. Is she really pregnant? That would be fun. What the hell is going on? Ethan has a low fever and a high fever, and he's not getting any better. The best doctors in the country have been here to check it out, and the best drugs have been used, but he's still not getting better. Mr. Leung's health is deteriorating. If he stays unconscious like this, I'm afraid that, I'm afraid there's going to be trouble within Ling's group. Didn't you just say that Ethan has always been in good health? But this time, Mr. Leung is in coma until now. Even the cause has not been found. This is the first time. I don't care what method you use. You must cure Ethan. Otherwise, I will let you pay. Okay. I'm sorry. Miss Sue got a bit of temper. Please don't mind. I'm fine. It's just that Mr. Leung's situation is really strange this time. Can you tell me more about it? We had a pretty bold guess, but it seems unlikely in any way. Now all other ideas have been eliminated. Mr. Leung has a high fever, and then a small rash. It does not seem to be any serious illness. But like... Immediate family members after blood transfusion left to seek relay. What? Impossible. The blood donor to Mr. Leung is a little girl. She has nothing to do with the Leungs. How could there be a direct gene from the Leungs? That's why I said it was impossible. Ah. What's wrong? I need money. It's expensive to marry Nancy. Just give me some more money. Ethan is dying. All the glory and wealth are almost gone. Forget Nancy. What? What's wrong with Ethan? High fever. Coma. Even the best doctors cannot find the cause. Mr. Ling seems to be dying. Even if Mr. Ling can't survive, you'll still be Mrs. Ling of the Lings. He admitted. Don't you want to take control of the whole Lin group and get more money? All the files from the last few days are here. Yes, Misu. Please take a look first and ask me if you don't understand anything. Can I not understand? Who do you despise? Sorry, I'll get out.
Hello, madam. Mr. Ling hasn't come to work for several days, but Miss Su suddenly come and take the recent internal information of the company to see. You don't have eyes? Are you blind? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me wipe it down for you. My clothes is expensive. Don't touch it with your dirty hands. Don't waste the time here. Just take out the trash. Go, and take out the trash over there. Oh, and let me help you. Put down the trash. And I haven't seen you before. Are you new here? Yes, you can call me on Ling. Okay, Aunt Ling. If you need any help, just find me. I can help you. Ah, okay. I just accidentally bumped her. These two women work on the penthouse too. Yes, they also work in the secretarial department. Ah, are they usually this aggressive at work? Ramsey, Misu is coming. Get to the conference room. I gotta go. Okay. Nancy, you are so great. You cannot just work in my little restaurant. I can't believe you can got access to the Ling Group. I got this job on my own. You don't have to praise me. Ethan is busy recently, so I come to manage the company. From now on, other things in the secretarial department, you have to report to me. Understand? Yes, Miss Su. Yes, Miss Su. Yes. Behave yourself. Don't be a demon under my nose, or you will pay. I'll work hard. What are you doing, you filthy cleaner? How dare you eavesdrop on my meeting? Miss Su, she is. I just want to hear when I can come into the conference room and clean up. You are so diligent. Today, you need to clean up this floor. If I see a shred of dust, you don't have to work tomorrow. And Ling, so much work. You can't do it all by yourself. Let me help you. Ah... Uh. Thanks. You're cleaning so skillfully. To be honest, Diane punished me for cleaning up before. Oh, really? Do you know her well? Can you tell me what kind of person is she? It's hard to say. Now she is in charge of the Ling Group. And Ling, you'd better not offend her. She's in charge of the Ling Group? Does she deserve? What do you say? Ah, uh, nothing. What's your name? I'm Nancy. Ah. Uh. You're a good girl. If Diane bullies you again, just tell me. This is Ling Group. She doesn't dare to be so bold. And even if I tell you, will you still be able to avenge me? <laughs> Maybe I can. You don't have to stand up for me, Aunt Ling. We shall cherish the job very much. Such a good girl. It's so great that if my son has the fortune to marry you. Don't make jokes, Andling. Who's your son, then? Nancy, there is something wrong with your medical report. How dare you mess around in the Ling Group? Let me give you a lesson. This is my privacy. It is none of your business. Step that to the Ling Group policy. Who enters the company without telling the truth about physical condition. Will be regarded as a blackmail and be fired. I worked so hard. You have no right to fire me. You seem to be at college. What if I send this report to the work group? I'll tell all the people at the company. Nancy, you're a piece of shit. Who dares to hurt Nancy? And Ling? You're just a cleaner. How dare you talk back to me over and over again? You old bitch. Get out of my way. Are you okay? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have known that you guys who bully the weak and fear the strong are in the lane group. What are you talking about, you old bitch? How dare you? You shut up.
Get off, fool. Otherwise, you'll regret it 100 times. Nancy, let's go. Assistant Chin. Who's this old bitch? You just let her talk back to me. Let's go, Nancy. Where are we going, Andy? To meet my son and tell him everything about what happened today. Who can help you? Get off. How dare you break the rules? You're just a cleaner. Stand up for a newcomer. It's not worth it. You go and do your things. I can handle it. You can win against them. I should ask someone for help. You old bitch. I don't care who your son is. Nancy, you are the fish on the chopping block. You bully the elders like this. Shame on you. Just the cleaner. I'll stomp her. So easy like an ant. Really? Show me. How you gonna stomp me? Madam. I'm just the cleaner. You're the chief assistant. It is none of your business. May I ask you how you gonna fix us? And Lee? I'll trust you totally. No matter what's wrong with your medical report. You old bitch. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Jane, get all the people from the secretarial department here. Okay. What happened? Misu, you are here. We just got the medical report of Nancy from the medical services department. She's hiding something. What's wrong with her? I'll let you know when everyone is here. Fine. Show me then. If Nancy goes against the rules, what will you do? Business is business. I'll fire her right now. Misu, you look just like the boss here. When do you rule the roost in the Ling group? What do you know? The Ling group is nothing. It then spoils me so much. Even I want 10 groups like the Ling group. He'll give all of them to me just for a smile of me. Really? Sure. Misu is the apple in the Mr. Ling's eyes. What do you know, you country pumpkin? Misu, please show the country pumpkin how Ethan will spoil you. Ethan has said I'm fully in charge of the affairs here. He sounds like an incapable ruler. Don't talk anything bad about Ethan, otherwise you'll end up with pathetic consequences. He sounds like a tyranny now. How dare you talk back, you damned old bitch. I'll teach you a lesson. Ethan, I'm at the office. I know you're not feeling well lately, so I came here to see if I could help with anything. But there is a woman challenging me. Okay, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Forget about this damn old bitch. As soon as Ethan arrives, he'll teach her a lesson. <sighs> I'm looking forward to that. Amy, Jane, let's deal with Nancy first. Okay, everyone. As we all know, the secretarial department of the Link Group doesn't take in unqualified candidates. We all made it to our current positions with our vocational competency. But recently, somebody just got in with the advantage of nepotism, which makes us very unsatisfied. What's worse, she traded sex favors for this job. You're smearing me. I didn't. You didn't? Can you tell us, as a college student who lived in a crappy suburban community and had no previous working experiences, how did you get into the secretarial department? I... You are not married, but you have no sense of shame and got yourself pregnant. Everyone... Please see this. This is the pregnancy test report I just got from the medical services department. Nancy, can you tell us who's the father of your child? <laughs> God bless me. A detective friend of mine got the video clip from that hotel room. Who's the father of that damn kid? The answer is in this video. I heard. It's someone from the management. Let's check. Who's the old grip you offered sex favors in exchange for your job at the secretarial department? His 
Why are you so nervous? I I I made a mistake. Who did you mistake him for? Mister Mister Ling. <gasps> you didn't just make a mistake. You're blind. What craps are you talking about? You dare to joke about Ethan? Are you fed up with your easygoing life? I'm not. <gasps> What kind of person is Ethan? I've known him very well. Don't try to break our couplehood. Couplehood. When did you legally marry into the links? Why didn't I know about it? You don't have a say here. Get the fuck away, damned old bitch! I don't like your words. I'm gonna have a say in everything that happened here. <laughs> Who do you think you are, an inferior janitor? Get the fuck out of here! Don't you ever show up again. <sighs> Mom. Why do you dress up like this? What, Ethan? What did you call her? She's my mother, the one who co-founded Ling Group with my father. She's the Iron Lady people often talk about. She is the mother of Ethan. Diane, I saw you were being rude to her. No, I wasn't. I thought she wasn't from our company, so I requested her to leave. Was it? I don't want to explain. I want to hear your explanation. It was my fault for being inconsiderate to cause the misunderstanding between us. Could you please forgive me, Ethan? You came just in time. There are two things for you to deal with. First, listen to this recording. Who do you think you are? An inferior janitor. Get the fuck out of here! Don't you ever show up again, Mom! I made a mistake. You called me Mom. Stop calling me that, and I can't accept your favor, Ethan. You've heard how rude she was to me. You still think it was a misunderstanding? I thought you're not from our company. That's why I said those words, Ethan. I just want to hear your opinion, Diane. Apologize to Mom. I'm sorry. Not clear enough. I'm sorry. Still not clear enough. I I feel truly sorry, Auntie. Whatever you tell me to do, I'll do it. You do whatever I tell you to do. Yes. Great. You kneel down to me, Auntie. Mom. Mom, I promised to Diane I'd protect her. Now you're embarrassing her in front of others. How will she be able to make a foothold in the company? What about her, Nancy? She's the one being insulted. Diane, apologize to Nancy. What? Why should I apologize to this bitch? To to this woman? I did nothing wrong to her. Bully people discriminatively intimidate the disadvantage, smear and fabricate rumors. What did you not do? Do you need Nancy to confirm? Nancy, I have questions for you. Answer me. Okay. Did she bully or discriminatively intimidate you because you're disadvantaged? Yes. Did she make use of your young age, smear you, and fabricate rumors about you? Yes. Did she oppress you and make fun of your financial shortage? Yes. Diane, apologize to Nancy. Ethan, I. Ethan sees you as his fiance, and spoils you to the extreme. Regarding this, I'll get back to him later. Diane, apologize to Nancy. Nancy, I'm sorry. Nancy, do you forgive her? Let me think about it. That means you don't. Diane, whether to allow you to marry into the links, we still have to think about it. Mom, don't get your future daughter-in-law into trouble for an irrelevant person. I'm an irrelevant person. Mister Lee, Nancy got her job at the president's office because she's pregnant with a kid of someone from the management. Nancy, who are you having a kid with? Don't frighten her. Nancy, 
good girl. Tell me, are you pregnant? I... To be honest, Emmy fabricated the rumor that is trying to get Nancy fired. Is it true? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know. It was Mr... Mr. Lee. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. Please let me stay here. Get your off-boarding process at the staffing department. <laughs> Ethan, follow me to the office. The rest of you, you can leave now. Amy, wait. Nancy, I really didn't know. I didn't know your kid is... Did you see the father of my kid? I didn't see. I don't know. I don't know anything. Can you tell me what did you see? Handling, are you okay? Somebody don't know how to be a good son of others. I quarreled with him. Now I'm homeless. Can you take me in? What? This coat is for you. Handling, this is my home. It's a little bit small. Please do not mind. <laughs> Never mind. Please sit down first. I'll get you a cup of water. Harry, I want you to think about some way to get to make sure that whether Nancy is pregnant and tell me as soon as possible. Got it. Wait. Who are you? None of your business. Antling, please drink some water. Yes, sure. Nancy, who is he? Hello, Antling. I'm fiancé of Nancy. We will soon get married. Fiancé? Nancy, is that real? I never want to marry him. Yes, all right. Though you don't want to marry me. But I really love you. The deep love you pretend seems... Disgusting. Hey, you old bitch. Why are you talking so mean? Everybody knows deep love is what you pretend to have. Harry, why do you come for me? Nancy, you know I have feelings for you. Look, I also buy your favorite jackfruits. Take a look. <gasps> Nancy, what's wrong? <gasps> you like to eat jackfruits most before. I'm just disgusted to see you. Hey, why didn't you come home without telling me? There's no dishes for you today. I'll cook it myself. Hey, who is this old woman? She's the staff of my company. She lived with me for a couple of days. What? Hey, if you're likely to make your own decision, then quickly marry Harry and move out. Then you can take whoever you want in this house. But now, you can't! Dad! Kick this old bitch out of my house! Still here? Get out! Dad! We'll go, right now. Go! Do your father know that you don't want to marry your fiancé? Yes. Then your child is his? I have no idea who is this child's father. And now, I also don't want to talk about this. <sighs> right. Just calm down. If you need to take care in the future, I'll help you, okay? Would it trouble you, Antling? Of course not. I'll take you to a place to see someone. Did you take that? Is she pregnant or not? I think she definitely gets pregnant. Antling, who is he? <laughs> he is one of my old friends, the master of the Hans. Except the links in Haicheng City. The Hans is the biggest family. Hmm. You can ask him for any help, if I'm not convenient.
Okay. Madam Ling, so happy to see you. Welcome. <laughs> Why do you have a plum-shaped birthmark? This is not birthmark. My dad told me it's a break that I fell when I was one year old. Let me have a careful look. Hey, Mr. Han, what are you doing? Hey, what's your name? My name is Nancy. Nian means missing someone. Nancy means sunny day. You are Nancy? Yes. Mr. Han. You have your own daughter, so do not grab mine. Nancy, don't be scared. It seems Mr. Han is so weird today. Aunt Ling, let's go home. Okay, let's go home. Our own home. <laughs> See you. Go. Call Mr. Ling downstairs. I have something important to tell him. Madam Ling, Mr. Ling just came back. He got a fever again. Just took medicine and fell asleep. A fever? Again? Bad news! Mr. Ling has fever to 41 degrees Celsius. What? Get the car ready now. Send Mr. Ling to hospital. My son was in the emergency room, but I have no idea what's wrong with him. We never want to keep our mouths shut, but the disease of Mr. Leung is so weird. Tell me. He always gets a fever again and again, and has trouble in breathing at early moment. But blood and other tests were all normal. Seems there's no problem. Oh, quack. Even though a little bit effect? Actually, we have a bold guessing, but Mr. Leung denied. Tell me. Symptoms like Mr. Liu is likely to be complications from blood transfusion between direct relatives. Doctor, I want to ask whether it has a possibility that there's the DNA of feathers inside the mother's blood. I mean, if a pregnant woman transfused to her husband, could it be a transfusion between direct relatives? Certainly would have DNA of fetus inside pregnant woman's blood. But I never meet the transfusion from a pregnant woman to her husband before. Seems that it would have sequelae. If Ethan really has transfusion sequelae, and it's the transfusion reactions between direct relatives, would that prove that the child inside is his? Nancy, have you found something? No, Antling. I just worry about Ethan. Ethan, you must become healthy quickly or I can only die with you. What are you saying, my silly girl? Ethan, I treated only like that, totally because I was afraid of bad management of company. I thought she came to make trouble, so I treated her in bad temper. Do you blame me? We'll come to apologize when I'm healthy. In the future, you must learn some protocols and etiquettes. Don't be so rude again. Hmm, I got it. Ethan, I know you treat me the best. <sighs> Ethan, I really, really want to marry you soon. You promised me. What I said to you will never change. I know. He has made up his mind to marry Diane. If I disturb him again, it would make me and my child more embarrassed. Come with me, Nancy. Aunt Ling? Ethan, I want to tell you something today. Mom, what's up? The biggest regret of my life is not having a daughter. So, I will make her my goddaughter. Antling. As long as it makes you happy, the Lins can afford to support anyone. No, we... From now on. She is my girl. Anyone who dares to bully Nancy is messing with me. I assure you, no one in Haicheng City dares to mess with my sister Nancy. <laughs> Only, I assure, 
that I will see Nancy as my own sister. <gasps> Nancy, say hi to your brother. Antley, I... Nancy, don't worry. In our lives, you'll always be my goddaughter. Hi, brother. Hi, Nancy. There is a good chance that the child Nancy is carrying is Ethan's. Take it easy. I'll show you a video, then you'll see whose child it is. How did you get this video? I was curious why you suddenly became wealthy. So I did some researches. I found that it was Nancy who saved Ethan. And you were just stepping into her shoes. Nonsense. Come on, Diane. You were joining the wealth clan by marrying Ethan. But you just gave me 10 million for helping you get rid of Nancy. What do you want? <laughs> if you and me team up, we can easily grab all the wealth and glory. Team up? What's your plan? Team up? What's your plan? Nancy is pregnant. And you can be pregnant too. Ethan thought it was you who saved him. If you are carrying his child, he's for sure going to marry you soon. But I'm not pregnant. Getting pregnant is easy though. Once the baby is born, they'll do a DNA test. After Nancy's child is born, I'll pull switcheroo, switch our baby. Then our baby will enjoy a life of wealth and luxury. Harry, you... I'm practically a genius, right? Are we going to live here in the future? Don't you like it here? Then let's get a different house. It's not that I don't like it here. It's just that Ethan is here too. Are we really going to live together? Are we really going to live together? What I say about calling Ethan? He's your big brother now. Okay? Yeah. The maid has already prepared your room. You can go and check it out. If you need anything, let them know later. <laughs> okay. Off you go. <laughs> What are you doing here? Antling brought me. She said we're going to live together. <sighs> you don't mind, do you? No problem. As long as she's happy. Ah. Uh. By the way, Diane and I are getting married soon, so... Put away your little tricks. I don't understand what you're saying. Whether you understand or not. Just remember my words. Go out and think for yourself. Ethan, how are you considering the matter of breaking off engagement with Diane? Oh, there's no need to consider that anymore. Mom, I've already made up my mind. I hope to have your blessings. Congratulations. You're about to marry a malicious woman. What if I insist on breaking off engagement with her? 
Initially, I wanted to wait until Ethan's health recovered a bit more before announcing this. But now, I just want to share the news. I'm pregnant, Ethan. You're going to be a dad. Really? That's great. <laughs> a mother becomes noble because of her son, Diane. You're quite cunning. And Ethan and I to share a deep connection. You guys go ahead and eat. I'm disgusted. Ethan, mom seems upset. How could that be? She'll like our child. So, the child in my belly isn't his only flesh and blood? Good mother. Why? Why does it have to be dying? I'd rather that you're carrying Ethan's child. <sighs> Good mother. But in his heart, Diane is the only one he considers as his wife. I don't have that privilege. In a few days, it's Ethan's birthday. I'm planning a birthday banquet for him to get some luck. After the banquet, I'll take you away from here. How about that? <laughs> okay. What are you doing here? I was invited as a guest. Go away. You see, the guests are all in pairs. Why don't you be my partner? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Miss Gu, the goddaughter of the Lings. She's my fiancé. Aren't we a perfect match? Such a cute couple. What are you up to? Do you think we should kiss? Kiss! Come on, kiss! Let go of me. Don't be like that. We already have a child. Why are you so shy? Congratulations! So many good news for Lynx lately. What a blessing! You want everyone to laugh at the Lings. They will laugh at your godmother that she has a goddaughter who's pregnant with a bastard. She will be mocked by all the rich families in Haicheng City. I'm grateful for all your blessings. I'll stay with Nancy until she's safely delivered. We'll be married next spring. Everyone must come to the wedding. Diane will be Mrs. Lee. Hello, yes. I'd like to make an appointment for tomorrow's abortion surgery. Nancy, please confirm your information. It'll be your turn in a minute. Okay. Hello, Ethan. Nancy, you should call me brother. Ethan. What's up? Nothing. I just accidentally dialed your number. What is it? I made a bet with myself. I bet on whether you'd answer my call. Do you think I win the bet or lose? What do you mean, win or lose? If mom knows I didn't answer her goddaughter's call, she'll be pissed off. You answered my call just because my godmother? Why are you so serious about this? Is there anything else? If no, I'm hanging up. I'm in the middle of a meeting. Well, okay. 
bởi Dr. Liu is here. Let's get ready for the surgery. Nancy. I'm here. Give me your hand for the injection. You'll be fine after a nap. Is it really going to be okay? Everything will be fine, right? Sure. Don't be afraid. Oh, stupid girl! You have RH negative blood. If you abort your first child, it's hard to have a child in the future. Do you want to make yourself regret for the rest of your life? What? I didn't know about this. Good girl, let's go home. We'll keep the baby, no matter who the father is. I will love this child. Thank you, good mother. Let's go home. Nancy, here, I made this of myself. You're about to give birth, but only your belly gets big. You hardly gain much weight. Good mother, I just don't feel like eating. Mom, I want some chicken soup too. The doctor said I'm about to give birth as well. You? It's almost your due date. Your belly isn't getting any bigger. Moreover, God knows whose baby are you carrying. Mom! Nancy, drink this now. It'll get cold. Okay, good mother. I've finished. I'm going to take a rest. Okay, go ahead. Mom, I'm sleepy too. I'll leave as well. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Nancy. I'm with you. Don't be afraid, good girl. Mom! The patient fell down the stairs. She has to give birth now. Save some strength. Don't be afraid. No matter what happens, I'll be here. Don't be afraid. Be quick! The baby's head has come out! Quickly! Breathe! Push! Have you called Ethan yet? Mr. Liu is still on the plan. I can't reach him yet. Useless. Call again! Yes. Mom, don't worry. <gasps> if anything happens to Nancy, you won't belong to the Lynx anymore. Mom, I'm pregnant with your grandson. What are you doing? <laughs> Where's my baby? Stop that! You're still on the drip! Lie down! Where's my baby? Your baby was still born. The doctor took care of it. I don't believe it! <gasps> now I've switched the baby. Madame Liu has become a vegetable. She won't wake up again. I've done so much for you. Where's my money? 100 million yuan for you. But I want you to leave Haicheng City. Nancy, now I have your child. What else can you prove you had a relationship with Ethan? And you, Harry, you greedy pig. I will get rid of you someday. Uh, doctor, help me. My stomach hurts. Help me. No, Miss Sue has difficulty delivering. Miss Sue. I had difficult labor because of this child. Understand? My stomach hurts. In her belly, it's like there's another baby. Hurry up to get the equipment to check her out. <laughs> Nancy, why are you here? Belly. Diane had a difficult labor. She's in a coma. The baby keeps crying. 
Since you're just given a birth, I think you may know how to take care of the baby. So I ask you for a try. Don't worry about the money. This baby keeps crying when a stranger hugs him. Even when Diane hugs him. Why doesn't he cry now? Hello? Ethan, come to the company in a hurry. Our company stock has been down for three consecutive limits. Okay, I got it. I need to come back to the company now to handle something. Please take care of the baby of Diane and me. Thanks. Actually, the baby I have is also yours. Mr. Liu, your plan of getting married with ordinary person Diane was reported by the media. The early morning today, the stock of our company has been declined for three lemons. What's your plan to handle it? What's your suggestion? Since the trouble is caused by your marriage, shall we use another marriage with a family match to solve the problem? What do you mean? There are many ladies in Haichun City. I think that lady from the hands is great. Ethan, what about arrange a meeting for you too? Miss Gu, you are recovering very well. Uh, nurse, I want to know which word is Diane in. Miss Gu, Miss Su had a difficult labor and she is in a coma and she doesn't revive now. Oh. Dr. Chu. Barry, what's going on with the thing I asked you to do? Don't worry, I have settled down the baby. No one can find him out. Thank you, Barry. You don't have to. I told you that you can ask for my help whenever you are in trouble. Um, Is he the baby of him and another woman? Um, Do you love the man? I don't know, will the good fall in love with a mortal? Look at this. Miss Han is well-educated. She is pretty and gentle, and in Haichun City, the Han's social status is just second only to the Lin's. Nancy, you... Barry, it's time to breastfeeding. I need to feed the baby. It seems that you still care about him. His head is burning up. What happened? He had a fever. Call Ethan now. Doctor, what's going on with the baby? Baby's fever keeps going up. Seems like he got a pneumonia caused by bacterial infection. I recommend hospitalization. Oh, well... How long will it take for his recovery? It's hard to say for now. Recently, he needs to be watched closely. I see. Thanks a lot. Barry, I need your help. Please do a paternity test between the baby and me. You mean... The baby is sick. Why didn't call me immediately? You're busy. I didn't bother you. I really appreciate you for what you did during this period. The baby's fever went down. Why did the baby's fever go down as soon as I came? Huh. Amazing. Hey. Actually, there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Since the first time I saw you, I just feel the smell in you very familiar. Mr. Ling, you've seen so many women before. Why are you such old-fashioned ways to pick up girls? Ethan, I heard you came to the hospital. What's wrong with you? Who told you that? The butler said you came in a hurry. Ethan, haven't you had dinner yet? Let's get something to eat, shall we? No. My baby's fever just went down. I don't want to eat. Oh, by the way, your last proposal mentioned the collaboration between the Lynx and the Hans. Today is off hours. I don't want to discuss work. Let's get something to eat, okay? Patient's family, come here and pay the fee. Okay. Ethan can only be mine. Don't dream anymore. I am Miss Han from the Hans. And I'm also the only one qualified to become Ethan's wife. You don't have a capital to compete with me. This is the hospital. Please buy it. A country dog cannot change the phoenix even if it lies to the branches. What are you talking about? Uh, I am inquiring about the baby's condition. Ethan, since you're here, then I'll leave first. You! Ethan, you can only be mine.
Madam Lin, my daughter Lisa is about to marry your son Ethan. Back then, for some reason, we were unable to reach the end. It has always been a hint of regret in my heart. Now that our son and daughter can reach the end, it's the greatest comfort in my heart. Let's see. Nancy. Are you saying that, Nancy? It's the girl you brought last time? Hello? Go and investigate a person named Nancy Gu for me. I need all her information. Diane, when can you wake up? The doctor said... If there's no particularly strong stimulation, she may be difficult to wake up again. A strong stimulation? Ethan, we were about to get married. I've liked you for so long. We're finally going to be together. Get married? You and me? Yeah, that's right. I know things came suddenly, but I've liked you for a long time. I really like you. Look. Notify everyone. One week later, I will marry the daughter of the Hans as my wife. I want this news to be all over headlines. I want everyone in Haicheng and even the whole country to know it. Yes. Nancy, you see it? Without breaking a sweat, I'll marry Ethan. You are as ordinary as Diane. I don't know if you have the luck. He'll never reach my level. Miss Han, I think you misunderstood. I don't have any thoughts about Ethan. You'd better be. Otherwise, I will use the power of the Hans to make you a low-life piece of shit that survive in Haicheng City. Miss Han, you worry too much. Now, let's welcome our bride. Ms. Han! Ethan, we're getting married soon. I'm so happy. Wait. Dad? MC, I think you got the wrong bride. The bride is supposed to be the daughter of the Hans, not this unknown woman. Dad, what are you talking about? I am Miss Han. I am your daughter. Bring that guy out. <laughs> Who is this guy? You don't know him? He's Nancy's father, but not a real father. Uh, Mr. Han, forgive me. I know I've done wrong. Please, spare me. Spare you? No way. Back then, you took the opportunity in my house to work. You made your daughter and my child switched. How could I and my daughter suffer for decades? Dad, what do you mean? You're not my daughter. My wife died in an accident when my daughter was a month old. I was sad and lonely at that time. All sorts of things mixed together to be done by myself. I can't take care of her. That's why I hired this man to help out around the house. My daughter's ankle has a pink plum blossom birthmark. I was out on a business trip for 10 days or so. But when I came back and the birthmark was gone, this person colluded with the babysitter. She explained to me that the birthmark would disappear slowly. It's a small baby, changes especially fast. That was when I realized my daughter had been switched. My daughter is Nancy. Not you. not possible! I am your daughter, the only heir to the Hans. I've been your daughter for over 20 years. I am your daughter! Dad, don't be deceived. This is our DNA task report. You and I are not related at all. Since you were a kid, you've been scheming selfish greedy. I thought it was because you grew up with a mother. I've been spoiling you so much. Who knows that you're not even my daughter? No, that's impossible. I don't believe it. It's a fake. I don't believe it. Mr. Hunt, please, please just spare me. Spare my daughter. I beg you. My girl, my sweetheart, 
Get out of here! Get out of here! I don't have such a bad father! <laughs> Ethan, that's not true. Listen to me. You want to marry me. Isn't that right? You'll protect me, right? What have you done? Don't you know? Don't think I don't know your true colors? It's impossible. I've done it perfectly. Are you sure it's perfect? I think you're the net of justice is more or less the same. You know everything. Then why did you say you want to marry me? What do you mean? The doctor said Diane needed to be stimulated to wake up. What else is it? I'd marry another woman. It's a greater thrill for her than it. Ethan, you want Diane to wake up? No way. Really? Then please take a look. Who am I? How dare you take advantage of me? Dad! Dad! They all bullied me! He said, I'm your favorite daughter! Even if the other parent child report is true. But the time we spent together as father and daughter for more than 20 years, it's true! Dad! You cannot let those things just wipe it all away! Dad! You stole secrets. You released fake news. You caused the Lynn stock market to plummet. You've committed an economic crime. Dad, help me! Dad! Wait a minute. She's right. Even though she's not my own daughter, but she's been with me for more than 20 years. She's still so young. I can't bear to destroy her like this. I still can't bear it. Well, as for the losses of your links, I'll double the compensation. Spare her this time. I'll send her abroad. I promise that in the future, she never interferes with your life again. I can spare her for my mother's sake. Thank you. Take her away. Help me. I don't want to go abroad. This man. Dispose of him according to the law. Lizzie, you white-eyed wolf. I risked you for so many years for nothing. I can't believe that you don't help me. You have no conscience, you heartless little bastard. If I had known, I should have choked you, you white-eyed wolf. Nancy, don't be afraid. I'll protect you from now on. The whole hands will be your strongest support. I wonder next, who's going to be the bride? But she has a child. A child? How can it compare it to the Hans? A marriage between the Lynx and Hans, that's a powerful combination. I think no one can refuse lure of wealth and power. Today, I want to announce something. This woman beside me, Diane, she saved my life. She also gave birth to my child. Anyway, I have to give her a status. So I will marry Diane as my wife. Ethan! The person you should marry is my daughter! Ethan, are you sure you want to marry Diane as your wife? Do you really know her? Nancy, what are you up to again? I have tolerated you over and over again. Don't repay kindness with enmity. I know you're jealous of me, but today is the wedding between me and Ethan. I won't allow you to ruin it. Look, drag this vicious woman out for me. Look, are you sure you want to let this kind of woman continue deceiving Mr. Ling? Dead. I have a video here that can prove what I say. When can we go home? I don't know. Let's wait for news from Diane. I don't know the people she found. These two professors pretended to be us. Do they meet Ethan's standards? 
As people like us who are rough around the ages, let's not hold back our daughter. As long as our daughter can successfully marry into a wealthy family, the rest of our lives can be carefree. Even if I have to hide in the back forever, I'm willing to do so. So, we should deceive Ethan for the rest of his life? So what? Ethan, her video was manipulated. Don't believe her. If you continue like this, I will sue you. Is it edited? You know best in your heart, don't you? What's going on with Diane? Ethan, she is trying to sow discord between us. Don't believe her. Listen to me. You are really Diane's mother? Me? Of course. The primary school Diane attended before. What was its name? Hmm. I'm getting old and I can't remember. Diane told me she was in your university from primary to middle school. How could you forget? I... Ethan, you don't believe me, but you believe in a synthesized video. With an unknown origin, do you know in the whole Haichang city how many women are jealous that I can marry you? Videos can be manipulated, but people are real. Diane, in order to marry into a wealthy family, you found two professors to be your fake parents, to play the role for you, and even thought of eliminating your birth parents completely. You're so heartless. I don't know what nonsense you're talking about. I don't even know you. Diane, how could you treat me like this? You are my daughter. You clearly said that if we promise to leave Haichung City, you'll send us to a comfortable place and provide us with a life of luxury and wealth. But you sent Harry to kill us. You're so cruel. Harry has been arrested and he has told us everything. I don't know what nonsense you're talking about. You're trying to ruin my good life. I think you're bullying the wrong person. Ethan, you have to believe me. It's not like that. It's my fault. I shouldn't have taught you to be so selfish, to seek nothing but profit. It's my fault. <laughs> Diane, as long as you are willing to support us, you're still our good daughter. Let dad witness you to be married, okay? Let mom and dad witness your happiness. Don't come any closer, you stinky fishmonger. Diane, you didn't treat dad like this when you were a child. Diane. Didn't you say you didn't know him? How did you know they're fishmongers? I... 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 Because Diane has been lying to you, everything she made up was a lie, including... Including what? Including the baby. That's impossible. All the Ling's children are tested for their paternity the moment they're born. That baby is mine. It's yours, but the mother isn't her. It's me. She took my child. What are you talking about? Ethan, you're so smart. You must know what I'm talking about. The person who saved me that night was you? Nancy, stop talking bullshit! I'll tear your mouth off! Stop there! You said you saved me. What's the proof? I have evidence here. <laughs> Ethan, the two of them are working together. I don't know what they're up to. I cannot believe their lies. Don't let them get away with that. Until now, you're still unrepentant. That night, I was covering for dying. You came in. Mr. Liu, in fact, the person who transfused your blood was Miss Gu. I see. No need to say anything. Give me the baby. Give me the baby. Give me back my baby, Ethan. Get your hands off me. Ethan, you have to believe me. I don't know how. They found out about this. They tried to pretend to be the ones who saved you. They're so vicious. Don't trust them. Don't trust her? Why should I trust a woman with a vicious heart like you? Mom, you're awake? Nancy came to visit me in the hospital yesterday. Then I woke up by chance. And I had someone do a DNA test between Nancy and this child. This child is Nancy's. Oh no, to be exact, this child is yours and Nancy's. You, Nancy and this child, you three are the real family. And this Dio is the one who's messing things up.
Dump her as soon as possible. Let me have a peaceful life. Then I am the woman you promised to marry. Ethan, I know you love me. You won't give me up. Hand it over. What? The ancestral jade pendant of the lynx has never belonged to you. Lou, take her to the police station. She's the one who put me in a coma these days. Yes, Madam Lou. Let's go. Let's go. No, I don't want to go to jail. It wasn't me. I don't want to go to jail. You're its owner. I'm sorry. I can't accept it. You don't want to marry me? I didn't come here today for you. I'm here for my child. Good man, you promised me I could take him away. Can we leave now? Yes. Let them go. Mom. Mom. Let her go. That's what you owe her. Miss Go, Mr. Ling is here again. He's brought a lot of things. Let him be. Leave him alone. Mr. Ling, he brought so many things. Will the baby be able to use them all? He is my son. How can he lack daily necessities? If others know it, it would be a joke. This bag is also for the baby? Hmm, right. He should be able to use it when he grows up. Miss Cousette, she doesn't want to see you today. Did I say I wanted to see her? It's over 200 kilometers from Haicheng City. The young master sleeps 20 hours a day. You don't want to see Miss Ku. Who do you want to see? I... I'm planning to do business here. Oh, to build shopping mall. There are more toads than people in the countryside. Who are you going to sell to? Why do you talk so much nonsense? Who pays your wages? None of your business. Who is it? It's me. Open the door. Let's have a talk. What do you want? Do you want the jade pendant? You've said it many times. I don't want it. It's the Lynx Ancestral Heirloom. Yes, the Lynx Ancestral Heirloom. It's Glacier Species today. It's worth a fortune, including the position of Mrs. Ling. How many women have coveted me? How many women want to fly up to become a phoenix? I can recite all these words already. So you don't like it or you don't care? Yes, I don't want it. And I don't care either. Nancy. Mr. Ling. I'll say it again. This courtyard is rented by me. If you trespass again, I'll call the police. I... Why don't you work as the CEO but come here to behave like a gangster? Shame on you. Well, the gap, right? You can laugh louder if you wanted to. <laughs> Silly boy, you've been chased by women since you were young. How many women were broken-hearted and cried after being rejected by you? Now, you know women are not easy to chase, right? It's called the tide turns. You may not want to see your grandson, so you're laughing at me. Nonsense. I miss my fatty grandson so much, but Nancy told me I could visit them at any time. Whenever I want. <laughs> I'm going to see my grandson, but you have to work hard to earn money for him and try to become a real dad as soon as possible. <laughs> Did you give the baby a new name? I've thought about it. I'll call him Adam. I just want him to be healthy and safe. Nothing else matters. Oh, what about the future? Should he learn to sing with mom first? Or should he learn fencing from dad? Good mother, he can't talk yet. I know. I'm asking you. What do you want Adam to learn? He should learn to sing with me first. When he goes to his father's place, 
then he can learn fencing. Hey, silly girl, you really don't plan to live with us? Gosh. Good mother, let's talk about this later. Why are you in my bed? Hmm? I slept on the stone table in the courtyard last night. How did I get in? How do I know? It must be you, right? You helped me in secretly. What nonsense are you talking about? Oh, I see. You were lonely in the mountains. Then you lusted after my handsome body. Then you secretly helped me into your room. Then you just took off my clothes without my noticing. You're getting more and more ridiculous. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll throw you out. Oh, dear Nancy. Last night, you were discussing how to have a second child with me. Now you're turning your back on me? I want to have a second child with you. Don't flatter yourself. What did you just say? What were the last four characters? I say don't flatter yourself.